Here are 18 essential things to know, but that you might not have come across yet if you're an After Effects beginner. First, setting up your workspace is key to efficiency. Find all of the panels under Window, including scripts and extensions you've installed. Drag and drop panels to rearrange. Save your workspace by going to Window, Workspace, Save as New Workspace. If it's taking a while to preview your animation, lower the resolution here. This won't affect the quality of the file you render out. To focus on just one or a few layers, hit the solo button. Or instead, you can turn off the eyeball on layers you don't need to see. To hide layers from the timeline, click the Shy toggle, then turn the Shy Guy on. To reveal those layers again, turn the Shy Guy button off. Use markers to keep organized. Markers can go on layers or the whole composition. Double click a marker to leave a note or set a duration. See the title action safe guide and center of your composition by hitting the quotes key on the keyboard. Or find this and other grid and guide options here. To create a guideline, hit Command or Control R to bring up the rulers. Then drag out from a ruler to create a guideline. These lines won't be visible when the comp is nested or rendered. Remove the guide by dragging it back to the ruler. Use adjustment layers, basically a see-through layer that you can add effects to and it will apply those effects to all the layers below it. This renders faster than applying the same effect to multiple layers and it's faster to make adjustments to. To center the anchor point on a layer, make sure it's selected, hold Command or Control and double click the Pan Behind tool. Here I have a square that moves along this unique motion path, but it doesn't move very smoothly. To fix this, click and drag over the keyframes to select them. Then right click on one of the keyframes and choose Rove Across Time. This smooths out the animation because it keeps the spatial interpolation information of all the keyframes, but only uses the temporal interpolation of the first and last keyframes. From here, you can adjust the timing of the animation by dragging the first or last keyframe. And now you could do something like add Easy Ease to the first and last keyframe to make the animation more interesting. To make a layer move in alignment with its motion path, right click it, go to Transform, Auto Orient, and choose Orient Along Path. Animate lines drawing in and out by creating a line with the pen tool. Then toggle it open and click the Add button and choose Trim Paths. Keyframe the start end and or offset properties of the line. Instead of animating the transform properties for text layers, or worse, breaking the text into multiple layers to animate each letter, use text animators. You can find presets in the Effects and Presets panel under Animation Presets, Presets, Text. Learn how to create your own custom text animations in this class. Change the color of a layer by clicking the color tag. You can color code your layers to visually organize your timeline, or based on what they are, like all controllers are red. Another reason to color code your layers is that you can easily select all layers of the same color by clicking the color tag and choosing Select Label Group. This makes it easy to manipulate a bunch of layers that go together all at once. You can do the same thing with colored keyframes. You can select multiple keyframes by clicking and dragging over them, then right click to get the color menu. If you can't find a composition in the project panel that's open in the timeline, right click it and choose reveal in project. Or you can reveal files in Finder or Explorer by right clicking and choosing reveal in Finder. Oftentimes you can open this file, make changes, save it, and then see those changes reflected in After Effects. I hope these tips help as you learn After Effects. If you're serious about becoming a motion designer, the best way to learn is to create actual projects. I put together an entire curriculum of project-based classes to take you from complete beginner to efficient and professional animator, all while building your portfolio along the way. Watch with a Skillshare membership or just a one-time purchase. The link is below.